Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amar with another special edition, and this is part two of a three, possibly four part series when I discuss selling. Yesterday I talked about one thing. Today I'm going to talk about, um, I'm going to start off by giving a quote that Zig, Zig Ziglar gave, which I thought is so apropos and it really starts off and gives you an idea of what we're thinking and, you know, just to give you an idea of selling, I believe everybody has to sell regardless of what you're doing, even if that's not your job, I believe selling is a basic necessity of life, be it when you're job interviewing, being it when you're trying to get into a relationship, um, be it anything that you do, there's some form of selling. And, and I'm just a firm believer that salespersons, um, they deal with recessions differently. They dis they deal with the ups and downs differently. Um, it just makes the economy go around, but it also makes a person move. You're constantly selling. You're constantly thinking. But the quote that Zig Ziglar brought out was, is, and, and really listen to this, your biz, your business, your business is either good or bad right here between the ears. Your business is either good or bad right here between your own two ears. Okay? And if your thinking is thinking, <laughs> he kills me when he says that, if your thinking is thinking, your business is going to be exactly the same shape. So when you're sitting here and you, you have bad thoughts, your mental stability is not as clean and as clear as it should be, and you're talking about selling, you have this nasty, dirty, stinking thinking process going on. Your business is not going to sustain. Your business will not flourish. Your business will not grow. It may not even get off the ground. So it shows you that selling is a mental aspect that is so apropos and so key as far as your success. And he, talk, he goes on and he talks a little bit more uh, about uh, characteristics. And I really like this aspect about it. Some characteristics that come along with selling. And, you know, uh, one of them is logic, obviously. Well, I shouldn't say obviously, but one is logic. And that's when persons, a sell person gives you all kind of facts. And they're just hitting you with facts. You know, and, and, and what that does is, and, and he brought it, uh, he attached it to the uh, part of the human body. So logic is your eyes. You see it. And it makes people think. You think about what you see, okay? And this is according to Zig Ziglar and his explanations on selling you things like that. And then you have uh, the next part of is your emotion. And that's equated to your ears. And that's what makes people act. And in, in the midst of all of him saying all of that, what he's saying is, is you can't have one without the other to be a successful salesperson. You have to be able to come to the table and talk to your prospect with emotion as well as with facts, logic. You can't be a, a salesperson that just gives straight facts because then you'll have the smartest prospect in the world. That's the term he used. The smartest prospect in the world who goes somewhere and buys something from someone else who gives him the facts but also has the emotional attachment to it. But you can't come to someone and just be so emotionally, so hyped, but don't give the facts. So in essence, you have to blend them together. And a good salesperson, a great salesperson is able to be able to decipher when to add that emotional aspect in comparison to that uh, logical or fact finding, uh, fact telling aspect when in the midst of a sale. It's just that simple. And, and he gave an example, which I thought was so funny and, and it's so true. You know, when it comes to this and most men will understand this, he says, uh, write a letter and he was given the example as far as when he wrote a letter to his wife you write a love letter telling her how much you love her there's a, a ton of appreciation in many cases and trust me it's not in all cases but in many cases cases there is an appreciation for the fact that you received that she received this letter from you showing how much she loved you loved her but go whisper that same exact thing in her ear and it's almost a 100% guarantee that the response will be distinctly different. 
the response. If you whisper how much you love her in your her ear will be distinctly different. Trust me, I know. Been through it. <laughs> Been through it. And this is something that, you know, he's showing how the emotion can take you to another level. But you can't just have the emotion. You have to have other aspects to it, which is really good. And I really like that. And then you take in consideration, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and in, in, in this part of it. But he says prospects, and we remember this, prospects based on what you tell them as a salesperson, based on what you tell them and what you show them, but also based on what they believe. So it's three parts right here for sale. Three, not three. It's three parts to a sale. It's based on what you tell them, what you show them, and what they absolutely believe. So with that, this is Thomas from All Conversation Corner. Click the link below, man. I'm really doing some big things within our, our group. Uh, I think I've done my due diligence to bring uh, one of the best ideas out, uh, helping as many people as I possibly can. I love every aspect of this. So hit me up. ThomasAmal.com. My number is always there. You can call me anytime. You can text me, tweet me, you know, hit me up on Facebook, friend me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll be able to see all of the things that we're doing and the successes that we're having. But I believe right here, as life's liaison, I'm doing it and I'm doing it big. And I want you to come on with me. Thomas Amal Conversation Corner. Talk to you soon. Peace. Remember, be smart. Think first. Think first. Be smart. Out.